All praise and honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Racha, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders that great millstone that rule well. And shalom and blessings to the hopeful elect. I wanted to go into the state of mind of the men of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, the hopeful elect, and how if you only knew what they knew, then you would be mad too. Okay, the scriptures tell us here in Ecclesiastes 1 and 18, for in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increases, increaseth sorrow. Okay, so if you knew, I mean, going back to knowledge, knew is the past tense of, of, of having or obtaining knowledge, right? If you knew what the fuck was going on, then that spirit of heaviness would be upon you too, all right? When you observe in these scriptures the state of mind of the prophets, okay, the men of old, the men of the Most High, uh, and then as well as them currently, okay, because there's no contention who the true men of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai are unless you just have a complete demon uh, blocking your mind or unless you're a complete fucking retard. Not to see that the true men of the Most High are indeed them, uh, the apostles of Great Millstone on down, Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Rimlob, Apostle Raka, okay, and all the other elders of Great Millstone all the way down, okay? you see that same spirit of heaviness upon them. All right. That's consistent because of understanding what the fuck is going on in the earth. Okay. And what has been in history, the fact that Israel, them, them that the most high said are supposed, supposed to possess an inheritance with the world are supposed to possess this place. And for, for a good reason, because the Israel um, is the one that can only be the one that properly manages the earth, okay? And with the heathens being in power, mainly the most destructive uh, species, um, the most destructive line of people in the history of mankind, the, the so-called Caucasians, the so-called fucking white man, Esau, Edom, with him being in power, this earth is being completely fucking destroyed, okay? From all the pollution in every sphere and uh, nook and cranny of this place, so to speak, all right? Him dumping fucking chemicals into uh, bodies of water, okay? Into the, the ground, all right? His endless um, bloodlust and bloodshed that he's performed. All right, let's go into this in Isaiah 24. <clears throat> and Isaiah 24 and 5. Let's actually start at 4. It says, The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. And that is no more... Um, no more to the the highest extent of of this scripture than we are in currently, right? Because through age, this place has faded away even more. It's mourning even more. The people and the world are languishing even fucking more, all right? Because through age and time has progressed, all right? This shit hasn't gotten better. It hasn't improved. The health and the state of this place is just in continual decay. All right, and understand these things. Us with um, the prophets with the king's chip mentality, them, the prophets, the men of Yahweh Shem Al Shai that return in their same lot, them being the them that created the earth. All right, the Allahayim. If you know anything about the breakdown of these scriptures, the elect is actually th them the first of their kind, the best of their kind. And they go back to the body of angels in the beginning 
the first fruits of the most highest creation, okay, that helped create the worlds, all right? And with that, having, that's almost the, as if them, them possessing ownership with it because they helped create it. And through the mismanage of it, these men are in, in, are in complete mourning, okay? And you see that spirit of heaviness, okay, that sorrow, that anger upon uh, these men, okay? How could, how could you not be when considering these things, all right? It goes into, um, mind, we might as well get it. This is from our beloved captain, Yerah, brought this out, right? Them that were discontented. <clears throat> Let's see. First Samuel 22 and 2, it says, and I might as well start at the top, it says, David... First Samuel two twenty two, all right. First Samuel twenty two, David therefore departed thence and escaped to the cave Ajalam, and when his brethren and all his father's house heard it, they went down thither to him, and every one that was in distress, and every one that was in debt, and every one that was discontented gathered themselves unto him and he became a captain over them and there were with him about 400 men okay so we're in a spirit of discontented and when you go of uh, discontent and when you go into this is because uh the the kingdom was rent from them was was fucking stripped from them okay and this is also um is uh what's that word for when you elaborate <clears throat> this is uh expounded right in this scripture let's go into it uh let's see this is the, this is the state of mind of the men of Yahweh Bashim Shai. not in a goofy ass fucking silly spirit of mirth and uh a folly that the world that you see the world in, man. Or even these other fucking camps. Alright? We have a very heavy fucking um, vexed countenance. Because like it says, we're vexed all the fucking day long by all this fucking madness and wickedness. And then considering uh, what's going on here. Alright? And the state of our people. Our people are extremely fucking destroyed. Alright? completely through this is second Samuel 17 and 8 for it said Hishai no it says thou knowest thy father and his men that they be mighty men and they be chafed in their minds as a bear robbed of her whelps in the field and thy father is a man of war and will not lodge with the people okay and it, it expounds on what chafed in their minds means. It's as if a, a bear robs of her whelps in the field. And a she-bear is fucking vicious. Okay. There's, I forgot what it goes in. Um, the, the actual mental uh, anguish. And what that triggers in an in a animal like that. Alright. Complete fucking mayhem. Alright. Let's go into that word chafed the spirit this word chafed all right it means uh mar okay the ma and the ra drop the a mar it means bitterness okay of pain all right, angry. See, so if you only knew, you would be mad too. All right, but the masses of the people, as aforementioned, they weren't given the mental capacity to comprehend what's actually going on. All right, Wamba was going into it. See, this is from the apostles all on down. 
the um, the sincere men of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, um, Wamba was going into it in a sit down out there in New York with some of the different camp leaders about how when we're out in our travels and we don't even have to go anywhere wherever you are in this fucking place it's a constant bombardment um in your mind of you observing and recognizing the ways that this place is completely out of course all right that everything is completely fucking destroyed and um and contrary to the way the most high set it up going back into Isaiah 24 and 5, it says, the earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof, okay? This is at the highest extent of this. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. All right? That's why. Because everything is upside down. Okay? Going back into... Uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 18 and re reread this for in much wisdom is much grief, grief and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow so really the more you figure out the, the sadder you become the madder you become alright when understanding that for example Wamba was going into it the fucking trafficking um Child trafficking, uh, uh, sex trafficking, human trafficking is one of the most um, highest. It, no, I believe they, it's the highest, the number one growing, um, growing industry in the world. Okay. That's increasing by hundreds of percent per year. How uh, they're, um, Slakia, um, I don't want to misquote a, uh, a, a statistic but so so scratch that last statement but this thing is uh, um there's an explosion of human trafficking okay that industry is just fucking booming all right and we know that it's because not only um because they use and abuse these children um their their bodies right for for their for their pleasures but also for sacrifices all right and for and for that liquid if you know what I mean what I'm saying, all right, that liquid that they drain when, um, when that person, that individual is in their peak of fear, all right, and the power that they get from, from, from drinking that liquid, right, just, that just one, one of the many things, right, so the spirit and the state of mind, of the men of you held by Shimei Shai would be in mourning, man. Would be fucking angry. Understanding um, just one thing specifically. How this country was formed. All right. Where the bulk of Jake is at. The Israelites that were here. That came over here. Um, if you fucking just for one second thought about how to form this nation. They had to decimate and slaughter, rape, rob, and murder Mil tens of millions of people, and really hundreds of millions. I believe it was, they said it was like 77 million Native Americans that were fucking uh, slaughtered, put to death in various forms through guns, germs, and steel, and not to mention the, the, uh, the indigenous tribes of South America and then the other regions of of America that was occupied by the so-called Latinos, all right, the, uh, which were other tribes of the nation of Israel, okay? It's all been exposed that all these tribes, the indigenous of North, Central, and South America were, were from the 10 tribes of the nation of Israel, okay? They came over here during um, the time of the Assyrian captivity, all right, let's go ahead and, and find out when that exactly was. Get this in my arsenal. Syrian captivity. Let's see. Syrian captivity. 
was in 701 BC is when Jerusalem was sieged by Assyria by the Assyrians. Okay. So um that's when during the Assyrian captivity is when the 10 tribes, okay, was really um what they called the northern kingdom of the nation of Israel, right? That the nation of Israel was split in the southern and northern kingdom, the northern kingdom of the nation of Israel uh, migrated. Look, it says the, Assyri the Assyrian captivity's victims are known as the 10 lost tribes. Okay. And uh, I believe it's second Edges 13 goes into, um, oh, might as well grab it. How they came into Arsareth, a new land. Okay. Yep, second I just thirteen and forty five. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely a year and a half, and the same region is called Arshareth. Jumping up, I believe it starts in thirty in the thirties. Let me see. <clears throat> Start at forty one, it says but they took counsel amongst themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, that they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow passage of the river, for the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. Okay? So during that time, around... Um, you know, we'll say seven to six hundred BC, right? Um, in between that, we'll we'll give it a whole fucking uh, century, right? Somewhere in that time, the uh, the ten lost tribes, right? The northern kingdom came over here, and that's who the fuck was occupying this land, all right? Israelites. And understanding that the what was what was done in this place, all right, that there's a actual fucking um there's a specter if you will, there's a that spirit of death and bloodshed, all right, of our people being fucking uh sacrificed, all right. Only the most high knows, because we have some accounts of what they were doing to a to our people, all right, death would be um, an easy way out compared to what they were doing to our people, okay? Here, we might as well get that, Daniel 9 and 12. So considering all these things, what would be the state of mind of the middle of the Lord, all right? Oftentimes people I, um, wonder why yeah, um, is it 12 and 9? So I can't, no, it's 9 and 12. Yeah, so, um, why these men are so-called angry all the time, okay? Why they're fucking pissed off all the fucking time, all right? Why they have that heaviness, not only in their countenance, but in, on their spirits, man, okay? Chafed in their minds, all right? sorrow, um, in sorrow, grieved, okay, like I said, Yahushai was appointed with grief, all right, even, um, Romans 9 goes into it, uh, uh, the Apostle Paul, he said, that I have great sorrow in my heart and heaviness, okay, because of the state of our fucking people, completely fucking destroyed, and they have no idea what's going on. Okay. So, uh, edges, that's that whole, you know, uh, second edges, the sixth chapter, um, like the last two, two verses. Okay. It says, um, Daniel nine and 12, and he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven had not been done 
as hath been done upon Jerusalem. Okay. And of course, there's a balance understanding why the Most High did these things, but that does not change the fact of the state of of the disposition of these men, man, in fucking mourning. All right. And furthermore, we're supposed to be in this state. We're in a um, spiritual penitentiary. Hey, it's lucky. This is a literal fucking penitentiary. Okay. Which is basically just a place where you're penitent. You're sorrowful. And um, thinking upon the things that you did to get you in this place. Okay. In, a, in, in fucking captivity. All right. Um, a man will get put into captivity if he breaks fucking certain um, ordinances and laws. Okay. So he can, he's getting put in what, the penitentiary so he can sit the fuck down and think about what he did and reflect on that shit and change his ways, all right? We understand um, the purpose of this, okay? But that doesn't change. We are, we're not to be in the spirit of fucking mirth about it, okay? But this, we understand, is needful. That contrition is, is so key. Uh, I had to think it, uh, a brother's page is that. But man, how how uh, on point is that? Contrition is so f- key for the Most High to reconstruct us, right? The, the purpose of being broken down is so you can get built up. Again, bro- a contrite in the blue letter goes into an outline of biblical usage to being broken into pieces, into dust, Okay. So the Most High can reconstruct us. We understand the purpose of it. But man, man, are we fucking mad. All right? At, at this oppression. This is in Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Okay, let's get into that real quick. That word mad. This shit is fucking enraging when considering the oppression of our people, okay? How dirty they dog out the nation of Israel, the the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, the most downtrodden, shit on, disenfranchised people in the history of mankind. To this day, though, okay? Salak. This is that word mad or maketh mad. It says, uh, let's see, to act madly, act like a madman. See, so it even goes into, um, your mental state, it almost like it makes you, it, it almost like it drives you crazy. It'll make a wise man mad, right? But here it goes into it in this, uh, the translation, the these different um, terms here, right? Translation count 165. And then it tra- KJV translates Strong's H 1984. Right, this word, halal, into, uh, which is to make mad, it says, into uh, these terms. That if you go down here, about f- six terms in, it says, to rage. Okay, to rage. So it's fucking enraging to see this oppression, this madness, this fucking folly that is going on. All right. What what did um, Solomon say? That all is vanity and vexation of spirit. All right. Is that supposed to make you fucking uh, in a spirit of mirth? All right. Smiling all the goddamn time. Scriptures go into that about how a wise man doesn't smile much. Because he knows what the fuck is going on. 
right now in this time. There's going to be plenty of time. It talks about us um, singing upon our beds. Then you're going to have a fucking cheese or grin in that day. You can only imagine. But this is not that. This is not that at all. Okay? Matthew 11 and 16, it says, But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is likened unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. Okay? What this is going into is the prophets of Yahweh Bashimi Haushai. It's the children that it's referring it to. And they're in the markets. The mar- word market is a beautiful breakdown as well for the Agora. All right. They're, they were in the physical marketplaces in the, in the ancient day and in this time, as it's referring to, but also um, um, the men, the the current prophets, the men of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai in current day, modern times, right now, today, they are still in the physical marketplace, but the bulk of the um the recipients of them, the ones that receive and hear this word, the bulk of them come by way uh, they're on the other side of a computer screen or um a, a mobile device. All right, and that's how they see it through the digital marketplace. All right, the digital agora. All right, they're on the highways and hedges of the um, the chief place of concourse of all the um, the areas that they're in, that they're dwelling in and around in Babylon and extended. All right, and what they're doing is they're compelling um, the people but primarily them that are of the elect, because that's the only ones that are going to return, okay? Only a remnant shall return, see? So they're, they're compelling them to do what? To mourn with us, okay? They're compelling them to drop off this uh, wicked fucking world, drop the allegiances to, this, to, this, uh, uh, to Esau, Edom, and come back to the Heavenly Father, okay? And with that is, um, is mourning, <laughs> all right? That's one of, the, um, one of the, the primary factors of this suffering, okay, that we come into, all right? This purging period that we're in, all right? This fucking f- furnace of adversity, all right? Mourning is a heavy element, uh, a primary element of this suffering, man. Okay. Understanding what the fuck is going on. Right? We have mourned to you and you have not lamented. This is in Isaiah 61 from the top. The spirit of Yahweh power is upon me because Yahweh hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Okay, let's go into that word meek. <clears throat> In Isaiah, the 61st chapter. 61st chapter. This word meek. Because the meek is in reference to Israel. But there's in Israel, of Israel, because not all Israel is of Israel. The two-thirds of the nation of Israel have completely fucking rebelled against Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay? It says, uh, let's see, poor, humble, the afflicted, okay? So, the meek is, is afflicted, okay? You would consider meek to be like, in the world, they call it fucking shy. One who's just kind of introverted, who, um, you know, is lowly, right? But this specifies it goes into afflicted, man. All right? 
This is, oh, there, there it goes. Humble, lowly, but look, afflicted. Right? And if you're fucking afflicted, best believe you're not going to be in a fucking spirit of mirth and happiness. Okay? And of course, there's balance, but this is the majority. Right? Because um, cause you can spiral. You got to watch that shit. But at the same time, this is what it is. What does it say here in the strong definition? Depressed, figuratively, in mind. Okay, and that's not a bad thing to be depressed. You know what the opposite of depressed is? Puffed up. Okay. Not depressed and going into Esau's fucking clinical uh, um, uh, clinical diagnosis. Right, medical um, diagnosis, whatever the fuck that is of, and what is that of Me- modern medicine, which is wicked as fuck, right? Um, that whole shit of, um, uh, 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 allopathy. Okay, allopathy, which is his modern form of medicine, that's used, um, that's that uses fucking drugs, right? Prescription which is petroleum-based, wicked-ass uh, chemicals and poison, sorcery, right? Um, that is essentially killing the fucking people, keeping them fucking sick and destroyed, all right? What else does it use? Uh, modern, modern medicine, it uses um, all the so-called conventional medicine, it's called as well. What do they use? Uh, surgeries, which is wicked as fuck, you know? Him coming through, nip, tuck. This and that, so-called, um, uh, put new parts in you and shit. All right. <clears throat> so not according to that d- type of depression, because what is he? Um, he, uh, you know, that's when you're in a fucking abyss. No, d- depressed just means um, that word D. Uh, um, meaning down and pressed. It's a compound word, um, which means to be uh, pr- pressed or, or, you know, pushed, right? So D, um, meaning down, and pressed, meaning pushed. It just means pushed down, all right? That's not a fucking bad uh, state to be. When you go into that word humble, that's literally what it means. It means humble goes back to the root word. The, I mean, the etymology, which is the root word, Humus, which means ground. All right, you're low, like low to the ground. So we should we should be depressed in mind, to that extent. All right. And why? All right. <clears throat> it says, um, back in Isaiah sixty one and one, the spirit of your help power is upon me because. Yahweh that anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh Bashir Bialashai, and the day of vengeance of our power, to comfort all that mourn. Okay? So the balance factor is that we know what the end all be all is going to be, okay? But in like it says, in the current moment, the chastising, chastisement doesn't seem to be joyous, okay? And really, that's a bitch-ass pussy spirit to be in, to be all in, um, in the spirit of mirth and, you know, folly and, and jesting and all that shit all the goddamn time, man. All right? It says, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Okay? That's the spirit of the true men of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai would be in. The sincere, the, um, them of a sincere spirit. Okay? To give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil for joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting 
of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that he might be glorified. Okay? Understanding that that's what's to come. <clears throat> this is in Revelation 11 and 3. Finishing off. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days clothed in sackcloth. Okay? The two witnesses going into the northern and southern kingdom who were oppressed together. Okay? Not only here, uh, not only around the world, but, you know, a bulk of Israel being here in the great Babylon, man. Okay? Prophesying the downfall of this fucking place. All right? But what, what would they be? What does this mean to be clothed in sackcloth? All right? Let's break that down. <clears throat> this word sackcloth, sack, going back to sackos, all right? It says in the bottom definition in the outline of the biblical usage, this last um, point, all right? Section C, a garment of the like material and clinging to the person like a sack which was wont to be worn or drawn over the tunic instead of the cloak or mantle. All right, it says, by mourners, penitents, uh, penitents, sub, sub, uh, sub, suppliants, Let's see how you pronounce that. A suppliant, a person making a humble plea in, to someone in power or authority. Let's see, a penitent. A penit uh, to be penitent is feeling or showing sorrow, regret for having done wrong. To be repentant. Or a noun of penitent is a person who repents their sins for wrongdoings and seeks forgiveness from the Most High. Okay. So you're in a state of sorrow when you're penitent, man. And that's the fuck supposed to, state we're supposed to be in. All of the nation of Israel. And really the whole fucking world. But look. <clears throat> it tells the, uh, the, the nation of Edom to fucking rejoice and be glad for this last little span of time that they have while they're empowered to do so. All right, because they're going to be in a state of mourning just like we were when, um, sh very shortly, all right, when um, Jacob, like it mentions in 2nd Edge of 6 and uh, I believe 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, it speaks about how Jacob's hand for, held first the heel of Esau when this fucker gets dragged out of uh, power. Okay, and he starts to feel this fucking holy hell that's about to get put on him. Okay, jumping back, it says, um, worn by Salakia, won't to be worn by mourners, penitents, suppliants, and also those who, like the Hebrew prophets, Led an austere life. Okay. Sackcloth, i.e. mohair. The gar material of garments made of it. Worn as a sign of grief. There you go. It said by mourners and penitents. That's the state we're supposed to be in. The state of mourning. And of penitence. And of grief. And with that is the anger. All right, unless you're just a complete fucking pushover, which a lot of our people are. All right. Oh, we we gotta accept them. We gotta uh uh let bygones be bygones, forgive and forget. All right. 
well, what can we achieve by doing the same thing that they did to us? It's just going to continue the cycle. All right? Absolutely not. There's an element of anger that is associated with this morning, man. All right? Especially the um, the elect, the warriors, because that's one thing you best believe. The elect is, is, a, is an army, okay? Each last, that's one of the guaranteed guaranteed foundations of each mem- member of the elect they were going to be fucking the most elite war- warriors that the universe has ever seen all right and with that is a is a element of anger okay of being fucking mad that the that what um that the earth was taken from us really right like it says, everywhere where your foot treadeth, it belongs to you. All right. And then um, subsequently, secondarily, this place, this place that we dwell in and we, we have to frequent and go through, go throughout this fucking valley of the shadow of fucking death here in America. And what was done here? I mean, specifically, I'll tell you, you know, this is a Dhamma from the Inglewood camp, so... Over here in SoCal, you have some of the worst atrocities that were done to the Israelites done here. And why? Because this being some of the most prime real estate in the country, all right, so-called Southern California, all right, you have Palos Verdes and Rolling Hills. That alone, it's like, um, was among the top five at one point top three of the highest um, income per household in the country. So some of the, um, among one of the most affluent and opulent neighborhoods in the fucking country. Okay. Um, Because it, it is, it's beautiful fucking country right there that this man fucking stole and decimated it. And what, and you have all this shit named up after Spaniards, man. This whole area that was, um, the Israelites were raped, robbed, and murdered to obtain. Are we supposed to be fucking happy about that shit? Okay. That they named all these fucking towns and these streets that, um, were, were, were stolen. Uh, um, and they named, this area was stolen and all these towns and these streets they named after their own fucking names. And their um, descendants are occupying that that shit to this day. All right. And continually pushing Jake fucking have a foot on his fucking neck. Stomping him farther into the ground. Okay. No, this is a, this is a, uh, this is a grief. This is grieving. Okay. This is sorrowful. This is fucking enraging. All right. But we understand the purpose of it. And that it's needful. It's making the elect fucking uh, invincible. All right? All this, this, this uh, mental anguish that we're going through. Okay? It's making us hard, man. Uh, the most vicious weapons, instruments of death that, that uh, hey, and, and instruments of life as well, that they're being... Uh, transformed into okay so if you only knew you would be mad too all right so with that all praises honor and glory to you